In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can use the shallow crossing concept to absolutely obliterate man coverage out of the air raid offense. What's going on guys? In, in this video, we're going to be sharing with you how you can get better at Madden 21. If you've not already subscribed to the channel, I want to encourage you to do that. We do videos every single day on this channel that can help you become a better Madden player. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I would highly encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. Now in this video, we're talking specifically about man-to-man -man coverage, again, with the shallow crossing concept. So if you take a look here at this top screen here, it says H shallow cross. Um, these are my audibles. I've got all kinds of different shallow crossing plays to show you um, out of the Arizona Cardinals playbook. We're going to come out in the play curl wheel, but we're going to audible around to some of the other crossing concepts. Um, but you can actually create this concept out of any play in the Arizona Air Raid, okay? Now, if you've not already gotten my Arizona Cardinals Offensive Guide with the Air Raid, I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description of this video. Um, it's a very, very good guide, and it walks you through how I would run the Air Raid offense in Madden. So if you wanna learn how to do that, um, that is down in the description, okay? Now, really simple um, concepts here for the Shallow Cross series, and basically what we're going to do um, is we are going to create essentially a high low. That's the whole point of this. And so all you're going to see here is I'm simply going to take the tight end, the X, and I'm gonna put him on a drag route, okay? I can put the running back on a table route. And then uh, from there, we're gonna create essentially the shallow crossing concept. And the way this is gonna look is basically we're going to take the triangle receiver, put him on a post. We're gonna put the R1 on a ghost route if we can. If we can't put him on a ghost route, we'll put him on a check and release route. Uh, and then I just like to do two streaks. And if I can, if I can, I'll do a post from right to left um, just to get these crossing actions on these corners. But what you're gonna see is against man-to-man -man coverage, this X receiver, because he's not gonna get jammed, is going to get wide open against the defense. It's really, really simple for him to be able to beat that coverage. The other reason why I like this so much is if they were to run press man and I have a good slot receiver on this play, you're going to see that that post route is gonna also easily beat man to the inside. And as you can see, I can easily pass lead that across and be beating man-to-man -man coverage for an easy gain over the top. The other reason why I really like post concepts or post routes against man coverage this year is just because they work, right? I mean, if I go to, um, if I take Mike Evans and I put him on a post route, you're gonna see if we go with this concept right here. And I'd probably use Brown, honestly, so it'd look something like this. But what you're gonna see is these post routes will do really good. You see AB getting wide open in the middle of the field. So every route on this play basically will beat man-to-man -man coverage. This play becomes even better whenever your opponent is going to a little bit more of a shaded over the top because it allows you to do pretty much anything. It's where I really like to use this H shallow cross. Ideally, I'll put Gronk on a post, but what you're gonna see is against man coverage, they are just not going to stay with these drags right across the field really easily. That's the whole point of the shallow cross route is that we can basically get a really, really fast guy in space underneath the defense. That's the whole idea. Um, and so if they're shading their coverage or if they're backing off their coverage, then you know you're, they're going to have a field day with this. These routes are going to be super simple. Look at this X receiver just dragging across formation, easy completion for three to five yards. The other thing that I really like about this is that you can also do a lot with different types of motion snaps. Um, and it's really something I like to go to whenever they're pressing me. So if I'm getting a lot of press coverage, one of my favorite little tricks um, to be able to deal with this is to simply take the square receiver on this play and basically all I'm going to do is put him on the shallow cross, put triangle on the post, and then we're going to see here, we're going to basically do this setup right here. And the reason I like this so much is because it is such a simple way to just get that receiver off the jam and you're just gonna snap the ball right about there. And as you'll see, and of course I snapped it just a little bit too early, but my post is now beating man-to-man -man coverage. The other thing that I like is that I've got pretty much every route that I can work against press man-to-man. -man. Um, another thing that you could do, this is more of a hot route master specific setup, but if you, you can, um, feel free to put the X on a, on a counter, uh, or not a counter, but a, um, a corner route. Uh, and then you'll see right here that I can run essentially an option route in combination with all this. And now I've got my option route, I've got my corner route, I've got my post, and I've got my other post. So every route beats man to man 
uh, against this defense. The bottom line is a motion snapped drag is going to be successful against man to man. So I'm just going to get everybody out of the way. And you'll see this drag, if I get it snapped properly, you see it gets a matchup, creates matchup problems for people. And as you can see, that's about 15 to 20 yards just on a simple motion snap drag that you can use out of anything to absolutely torch man-to-man -man coverage. These are really easy concepts uh, for you guys. Now, again, this H shallow cross, um, another really good play. So let's say you wanted to do it out of two by two. One of the things you can do is you can motion them that direction and then you can just simply motion them back just real quick just like this and get them in motion just so that they get jammed. That's all we're trying to do. You see this dig route is a really great route for man to man as well. So, you know, using the dig or the post, it's irrelevant. You don't have to use just the dig or just the post. You can use both. So, for example, if I wanted to go to, um, let's say I wanted to go to Y shallow cross. Now my dig is on this left side. I also have a skinny post. This is probably the best stock shallow cross to beat man to man. And what you're gonna see here is this triangle receiver. When he cuts inside, it's gonna be an easy read against man and you're off to the races. Now, one of the things that you're going to have to deal with inevitably is that their user will sit in the middle of the field. So it could look something essentially like this right here. And what I can tell you from personal experience with this concept is if you use things like, let's say for example, you use the eight shallow cross, this is a great play to go to because the running back route is going to beat man, the triangle route is going to beat man, but if they're lolling asleep and they're falling asleep at the wheel, this route to Antonio Brown is going to get wide open over the top of the man-to-man -man coverage. This is just one of the many ways that this formation is really, really set, in my opinion, to do a really good thing for you if you're facing the man-to-man -man coverage. You're going to see here that to the wide side of the field, if Antonio Brown gets off the jam, I could have a chance at that. I also have this skinny post coming over the top of the play every single time against man-to-man. -man. So you have so many little things that you can do um, to beat the man-to-man -man coverage. Another thing that I really like, if you take a look at the coverage here, you're going to notice that their middle linebacker is matched up on him. So if their middle linebacker drops off, then they're going to be in a coverage that essentially looks like this right here. So what's the, then what you get with that is now what we're going to do is we're going to run the, the, the R1 is going to go on a little table route. And if you look watch this table route, you're going to see he's going to cut to the outside and easily be able to get outside on man-to-man -man coverage. Another great route to use um, – Another great route to use off of this, especially if they're doing that kind of a defensive set. Um, if they're doing that, then feel free to use a wheel route. A wheel route is a really, really good route for something like this. It could look like this right here. And now you've got a wheel route. The wheel route gets a little bit more outside. And as you can see, you're off to the races for about 15 yards against man-to-man -man coverage. These are easy little tricks to take a, sh take a concept like the shallow cross concepts and really turn it into a really good man beater. Um, another thing that you can do, especially at a spread by slot, is you can motion this receiver in. You see that it's going to create essentially a stacked type of look. And now what I can do is I can run natural picks and natural rubs. Look at that. I still have my shallow cross concept coming back across. But now as you see here, we've got a lot of rubs that we're going to run underneath with that player. And we also have a really nice little post route coming open over on that side. So these are little things that you can do um, to get these receivers off of the jam, to get them in good positions, to be able to make really, really good plays for you. Natural picks, natural rubs, I think are one of the super simple things that you can do uh, to make a lot, um, just make a lot of problems go away. You see here, I've got a wheel route uh, paired with this little under route, just like so. And then I've got that skinny post coming over the top for an absolute laser against the defense. So. That is how I would use the shallow crossing concept to beat man-to-man -man coverage. If you are, if they're running a lot of press man, then I would motion that shallow crosser to get him off the jam. But thanks for watching, and if you want to get my full Arizona Air Raid offensive guide, then you can get that down in the description of this video. Uh, I think it's like ten bucks, maybe fifteen. Thanks for watching, and that link is going to be available for you down in the description.